Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my experiments with trying to get a screw into some epoxy resin. So here's the rudder off my sailboat and it's made from plywood and uh, the problem I've got is these screw holes. So this pin is going to go into this position and here's one of the screws and as you can see it's completely stripped the thread of the hole. Now, that's not surprising really as it's a few years old. So there's the three positions on this rudder where pin tools are going to go and about 50% of these holes are stripped so obviously I don't want my rudder coming off so my plan is to drill out the hole drill out these holes fill them up with epoxy resin and then uh, Hopefully the screw will go back in and grip. I've been experimenting with a, with a block of resin that I had. So I drilled the correct size hole for this screw. And our first attempt here, forcing the screw into the hole, basically it just stripped the thread. Probably because I wasn't applying enough pressure. Second attempt trying to apply a little bit more pressure you can see that brittle the epoxy being brittle quite a sizable piece broke away so my thoughts then turned to trying to make some kind of uh, tapping device and what I came up with was another screw of the same size into which I've cut let's wait for this camera to focus A slot along the length of the screw so I did that using a slitting disc on an angle grinder place the screw into a vise and I hope you can see this I cut a slot down the length of the screw anyway so here are, here are two holes I've already successfully tapped and as you can see the screw will easily go into these holes in fact a little bit too easily really so the process by the which, which I achieved this was to drill a pilot hole, of which I've got here, because I'm going to put my uh, tapping screw, as I've named it, screw it in a little bit. Then I'm going to be screwing it in a little bit at a time, then backing it out, cleaning off the debris, I have a wire brush which I use for that job and then repeat until I manage to get the screw full depth. Not working too well with one, only one hand. So turn it in a little bit, a little bit flaked off there but no problem. Screw it in a bit, back it out. Screw it in a bit more back it out periodically take the screw out completely and then uh, use a wire a wire brush you can clean off anything that's adhering to the screw so I just keep repeating this process until I get the screw in the full depth so here we've got a, another experiment with setting a screw into wet epoxy resin. So this screw was coated with WD-40, which should have coated it in a thin film of oil. And uh, the epoxy is set for about 12 hours, I suppose. And, um, and does quite easily, I'm pleased to say. So this hole was filled approximately three quarters full with epoxy and then the screw was just put into it while the epoxy was wet and screwed down not fully so it hits the bottom there but the WD-40 seems to have done the job and it release, releases quite, quite easily which is another method so 
all of the screws holes have been drilled out now to the correct depth with the judicial use of uh, some masking tape on the drill bit so now they're ready for some epoxy to be put into these let's get on with it so all of the holes have been filled up with epoxy you have to be very careful to make sure you don't get any air bubbles trapped in there so it's best to I basically dribbled it in from a bit of a height just so I had a thin stream going in and I think I might have a bit of a bowl there so I need to come back and add some more so it's just a matter of waiting for this to go off and then seeing if my um, method for tapping works I should add that I used no filler in the e epoxy mix I basically need it to penetrate into the wood as much as possible so um, it's just neat there's no there's no filler in this to thicken it or anything so these are the holes that have been filled with epoxy and it's been setting for about 12 hours so it's, I don't think it's fully hardened yet so I'm going to drill the pilot holes for the screws <laughs> You can see this stuff is not that hard. Probably we're not fully cured yet. So here's the tapping screw, let's use it. So screw it in up there, back it out. Going a little bit deeper each time and you can see that the cutting edge is working my uh, in fact the groove is filling up with the, the resin which is what you want to see And here's one of the, the real screws. That seem, seems to be holding really well. Okay, 